Hi again, guys. Uh, as promised, after the last video, I said I'll come back and show you how to rig up this snapper rig of mine. Um, this will be a fairly quick video. Uh, it's just, just, just to just give you an idea how this thing rigs up and what it looks like. Okay, as you can see here, I've got a little slimy, hopefully partly a bit frosted, but you'll get the idea. Yeah. Uh, I've got my trusty old bait cast and setup set up here. You can see I've got the rig on here. The old Calcutta on good old custom made rod. Beautiful outfit this thing. Caught some fish, a lot of fish. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, first of all, the rig. So, I'm going to hook it there. So basically when I'm rigging for snapper, I'm always using the head half of baits. I'm put glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. I'd never really run the tails. I always use cut the tails up and use them for burly. So I'm running the head half. Okay. Trusty old buck knife. What I do is I like to cut the baits. If I'm using peelies, by the way, I don't cut, I tear. I'd rather tear a peely so it's looking more natural. Um, but with this one, I'm going to cut because, you know, it's partly frozen and it's a slimy. So what we do, go a fair way down the body, look for the um, anal fin here, down here, right down the back, and that's where basically I want to cut on an angle. So I want to cut forward through the meat and down and open up the gut cavity, let all the juices and smell out, okay? So like so, it's still a bit frozen. But you can see the gut cavity there, it's in there, it's cut. That I will actually use for burley or put on a paternoster rig and bottom bash or, you know, here's or cut a little bit, a couple of little strip baits and use it to catch pike or something. You can use that for something. Don't waste it. But there's going to be a snapper bait. See? Head half of the slimy. Open up the gut cavity there. There's all the oils and juices and come out of there. And this rig is very simple. So basically, what I actually do, I like to run my hooks two different ways. Not both the same way. I have them two different ways. Seems to be a good hookup rate. So with the back hook, and just gently pierce it under the skin, down under the flesh here. This is stock standard, and just pull it like so. So it's sticking right out. Don't think that's sticking too far out, it's going to annoy a snapper. These fish are bottom feeders. They go around eating crabs, self, shellfish, and everything else. They're getting splinters and spikes them all day, every day. The hook's not going to worry them. That's only going to worry them when you strike and dig it in, then they get pissed off. Up until then, it's not going to worry them. So like so. And with the other hook, the front hook, I generally just go through the nose. Or the eye, but generally the nose a bit harder, and go the opposite way. That's it. How simple. That's a float lining reef. And this is deadly on big reds. Put the sinker down there. How simple is that, guys? And this is a deadly rig for snapper. Little ones, big ones, especially big ones. And if you get them down deep, you'll catch cobia and all sorts of things. And of course, my phone. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, just deadly flat line If you get down to the bottom, I've caught many of Jewies and Cobia and all sorts of things on it. So, very good. And I'll hopefully get out and give that a crack. It does work well. And once again, I'll be posting once a week. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. Can't we say it? Subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.